Okay, so we're pulling the uh, alignment plate off, which if anybody else out there in internet land needs that thing, uh, you know, I might sell it for cheap, or if you're a Factory 5 forum member, I'll just uh, send it to you, borrow it, and then send it on its way when you get your T56 done. That way we can kind of share it. Because that was like 80 bucks, 78 bucks or something. Waste of money for something I need for half an hour, and now it's going away. So I got my pilot bearing here. We got the whole back of the motor back apart, the bell housing and everything off. We're gonna put the pilot uh, bearing in, and then we're gonna kind of clean up some of the surfaces a little bit. So I usually put these in with a nice socket that kind of fits over the outer edge of these things. Kind of like that, so. And then I just tap these things on in. I may even start it here, just. Almost there. So you can hear the sound. You can hear the sound of this thing as it gets seated home. It, the sound just kind of changes as it gets more of a solid thud. So. So that's it, seated. So we got a pilot bushing in. Pairing, I guess they call them now. Get the, uh, back of this plate with a little bit of 400 on a block and I'll hit the other side just to make sure we got a nice flat smooth surface okay and this I know someone said they got this was kind of caught between here one time and it kind of threw some measurements off. I think it was Paul on the forum. Um, wait a second, it goes this way. So I'm just kind of making sure that's up there. And yeah, that should be good right there. Okay. Oh, it's easy. You got the little locating hole. That one's nice. Okay, so now let's, uh, if you want to throw the flywheel on, we're going to throw the flywheel on there. Okay, so. The ARP bolts, flywheel bolts, came with it. Um, I couldn't find the instructions. Well, the instructions, they were buried under this special lubricant. So, I want to make this very clear to everybody. If you read these instructions, they want you to use uh, Loctite 242 on the threads of the bolts, but this goes under the heads where the head is going to ride on the flywheel. So, that is important to know. So, just so you're aware of. Um, yeah, so then you got to torque everything to 70 feet pounds using the specified lubricants in step four, which is this. Okay, so we're going to take these bolts. I'm going to throw a little bit of this thread lubricant up under here. But then I'm going to throw some of this. On the threads and voila okay I'm gonna pull these two out so I don't forget that which ones I've done and which ones I haven't and we uh, you get the idea what we're doing here so we'll continue to put some of this under the Yeah, make sure you read the instructions. Okay, so I got all the uh, five-wheel bolts are now in. Uh, torque wrench is set fairly low, I think 40 feet pounds. So we'll start by torquing him to that. See if I can actually get it. Yeah, the motor just barely stops rotating. There we go. 
go. And we're gonna do it in a star pattern. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, torque these to 70, like the instructions say. So I'm gonna have to uh, hold the flywheel as my son torques these things. Okay, so we're gonna install the clutch and pressure plate and then get the bell housing back on. Then we can get this transmission made it up. So um, I'm gonna wipe down all the mating surfaces with some acetone. There we go. A little bit of grease on there, dirt. How's that look? Pretty good. Look good? Okay, we'll get the back side of this. That shaft through here. And then this goes into the pilot bushing. Just like that. So hold that up. Okay. And then our pressure plate. It's going to go. So you like this. This bolted up. I don't know the torque specs on this. It's not in the instructions, so I need to find those. Uh, as you can see, then that there centers our clutch. Uh, we'll hold that kind of nice and straight once we go to tighten this down. So, because then you want to do a star pattern here. Let me see if I can find the instructions for torque specs on these. On uh, each one of these bolts, uh, we got them just snugged up. As I said, then you want to very carefully snug these down equally so you don't uh, change the direction of the, the uh, you don't want to clamp one side down then the other. That's uh, not what you want to do. Continue to just slowly do this. And every now and then I pull this out to make sure I've got that still nice and loose. So you can feel when it hits home, when you actually get a torque spec on it, and then you're done compressing the disc. I think that's all the way in, but I better check the dimension. That may be hitting on that thing. Okay, so now we'll torque these down to 35 feet pounds. Start this off at 25 crisscross pattern. And then we'll uh, up this to 35 and finish torquing them all down. Since I already showed you the uh, bell housing going on when we indexed it, I figured this time I would just do it really quickly to show that we are putting Loctite uh, medium strength on all the bolts and we are torquing them to uh, specifications, which I think was about 40 feet pounds according to Lakewood. Okay, so we're continuing on with our installation of our transmission. And we need to check, we're on a hydraulic throwout bearing, so we need to check the distance from here From the tips of the forks where they're going to ride on that bearing to here and we're getting just about two inches almost two inches exactly so that's our gap to here so now we need to measure this as we compress this to the edge of here so we're going to measure that now and that whole distance should be well um Okay, between one eighth and three eighths of an inch. Got it? No. Okay, what do you got? So that's Y, that's our measurement Y. Just a hair over one and three quarters. So just a hair over 1.75. So. That gives us 0.25 inches, and we're supposed to be between 1 8th, which is 0.125, and 3 8ths, 0.375. So my big concern is they gave us these other two plates, but I'm guessing these were just, just in case. But other than that, I think we're spot on. Um, <clears throat> well, we'll check this again just to double check, but my measurements show we are literally spot on.
I think we're spot on. So I've checked the, uh, I guess to check the compression distance between here and that, and we're good. We're about uh, between a quarter and three eighths of an inch, almost spot on with no spacers in there. Got the hydraulic line set up here. I hope this thing clears going into the chassis. Uh, that thing is damn wide, and you can see it gets pretty narrow underneath that uh, thing. So hopefully this thing fits. If not, this is really going to suck because I'm going to have to put that transmission in afterwards. I don't think you could get up in here with a wrench and unbolt it, but maybe with that gap because there is a gap. I don't know. Maybe you could. So we'll see. Let's get this thing bolted up to the motor. We're going to drop the engine down on the standaways until it comes up about this, this height, and then we'll get these two uh, made it up. Well, sorry, I didn't get the, uh, the video. It took us a little while to get this thing made it up. Uh, had some issues, you know, I never want to clamp or, you know, put a C-clamp or bolt and tighten them down. You want them to mate into where they just slide into place. Couldn't get it to go. Finally, with enough jiggling and twisting, it finally just snapped right into place. That gap actually will, uh, we can pull this thing tight. I mean, just pushing it by hand, that gap will go away. So just so you know, we're not gonna pull that thing tight. It's actually fully made it up now. So there you go, you got a motor and transmission now uh, hooked up together. So I was worried about the hydraulic line um, going to the hydraulic throwout bearing. But actually with this access hole here, uh, you can reach up in there with a wrench and get that line on and off. So I pulled it back off, because at least now I know I can get access to it uh, when it's in the car. Because if not, I think it was gonna get damaged or possibly not even allow this thing to go in. So we now have a motor and transmission bolted up. I'll probably spin this around, throw it in the corner over here somewhere, and it'll sit here until I finish up the uh, wiring in here because I want to get the wiring and stuff done before I throw this in. I've also got a fire system, a suppression system coming that uh, I want to get installed too before I uh, get everything in the way and can't run the lines for the fire suppression system. So. So this video is now done. Thanks again for watching. If you like this, please hit subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode.